three, two, one. All right, folks, we have Dr. Rose here, Dr. Keith Rose, Dr. Keith Rose. Uh, were the models that said the 2.2 million Americans would die from COVID-19, were those false? Yes. Uh, Dr. Rose, were the PCR tests that are calibrated, the PCR tests, the COVID-19 tests, are those closely calibrated to inflate the number of deaths or cases? 100%. So you're saying that the PCR tests, the COVID-19 tests, those are closely calibrated to inflate the number of cases? Those are about as real as that Epstein killed itself. So. Let's review. So you're saying that the, so you're saying that the models that said that 2.2 million people would die that create little fear, those those models are false? That's correct. Now you said that the COVID-19, the PCR tests are falsely calibrated to inflate the number of cases? 100%. Now are you saying that 100% of the patients that you've treated have not died from COVID-19? Yes. Let me try again. So you're 90 years old, including my 85 year old parents. So you're saying... So, so wait, uh, wait, ma'am, wait, ma'am, I'll send this to my friends. Okay, so here we go. So you're saying that the models that the models that said that 2.2 million people would die, those are false? Yes. And you're saying that the PCR test, the COVID-19 test, are false inflated to the case. Not, not, not science. The narrative of the plan. They're not arguing with the science. And are you saying that 100 percent of the people you've treated with COVID-19 have not died? That is correct. Yeah. So I just want to ask you, what is going on? You have a plan. And this is not conspiracy theory, Ten Hatch, just look at it. The PCR test was adopted on January 17th. But it was adopted by the, I'm sorry, on January 15th. But it was submitted for publication January 17th for coronavirus before we even had a pandemic. That's the medical journals. 11 million people in a recent study out of Japan for asymptomatic transfer in a, published in a British journal were shown no asymptomatic transmission, not one patient. When you have the most famous journal, The Lancet, publish a study saying hydroxychloroquine is dangerous with 84,000 retrospective patients, they can't produce one medical record, and you find out the study was done by four people, one of them an adult filmmaker, you have to question the science or understand the narrative, and that's where you have truth being suppressed. And, and I know the others. I know the average person. Our people watching this video have had longer than average attention spans, but I think we have to stop asking the questions. If it's longer than five minutes, people can't handle it. Stop.